In this video, we will look at how we can use Adobe Dynamic Media Classic templating to apply badges to product images. This is a typical product listing page of an online retailer. Retailers often add badges to product images to call attention to new items, sales, and discounts. This helps create urgency and drives conversion. In this presentation, we will demonstrate a simple process for preparing basic templates that will allow us to easily add badges to product images. First, we will build a layered Photoshop file containing a product image and badges and save it as a Photoshop PSD file. Then, we will upload our PSD file to Adobe Dynamic Media Classic, which will automatically convert it to a template. We will then use Adobe Media Classic to edit and parameterize it. Then, we'll demonstrate how the template works. We'll create a rule set to simplify the URL request, which specifies the product image and badge. Finally, we'll see how to use our simplified URL to easily apply badges to product images. In Photoshop, we've created a layered image that contains our product and a group of layers that contain the badges we will apply to our product image. Essentially, we will use our product image as our base layer, and we will add layers on top of it that contain the badges used to build our user experience. Notice that I have named the layers in a simple and descriptive way so that they can be referenced easily in our template. For example, I have named the 10% off badge 10, the 20% off badge 20, and so forth. I have simply named the new badge new. By changing the selected base layer and badge layer, we will use our template to easily add our badges to any product image. Here I have turned on the layer named new, which overlays the new badge on our product image in the desired position. The other layers have been prepared in the same way. You should plan carefully to size your product images consistently so that the badge placement will remain the same for all images. When you have completed your preparation of the Photoshop file, save it in PSD format. Now upload your file to Adobe Dynamic Media Classic. Once this is complete, the PSD file will appear and an additional template file will be created that automatically preserves the structure of our PSD layers. In our case, the PSD file has been automatically named badges underscore PSD, and the template name is simply badges, which was the name of our uploaded PSD file. Now we will edit the badges template. Notice how the layers have been translated into our template. I have added a drop shadow effect to the first badge layer to help emphasize it. Now we will parameterize the template. We will click on the P icon to the right of the badge. This brings up the parameters dialog. I will check the first row which contains the badge name. I will set the name of the parameter to badge. Similarly, I will do the same thing for the product image. We will click on the P icon to the right of the product. Again, I will check the first row in the parameters dialog which contains the product name. I will set the name of the parameter to product. With these two parameters, we will be able to dynamically set the product image and the badge, allowing us to apply any of our badges to any product. To confirm that we've created our parameters correctly, click on the Parameter Summary button. It will display a list of our defined parameters and their values. Here we confirm that we have created product and badge parameters and that they reference the product and badge images. Next, we'll click on the Preview button to interactively review our template. In the Preview dialog, we can see our live template to the right. We can experiment with the parameter values and see our template update accordingly. I can now preview our template and change the value of those parameters to test that our template is working as expected. Here I have changed the badge value to 30, and the badge has updated as expected to indicate 30% off. I will also click on the Copy URL button to capture the URL used to apply our template. I can then paste the URL into my browser to again test it and experiment with the parameters to verify that my template is working as expected. 
I have also added an image preset to add sharpening to the final image. Here I have modified the URL and changed the badge parameter from 10 to 50, and I can clearly see that the badge is being applied correctly. The 50% off badge has been applied. Our URL looks pretty complex. I can see that the critical part of the product parameter is set to badges underscore one, and the badge parameter is set to 50. I would like to simplify this URL so that I can use it in a very clear and straightforward way. I will structure it so that we can add an add badge command, followed by badge name, followed by the product name. In this case, I will add a 20% off badge to a product named shoe. Let's see how we can create a rule set to do this. Here is the rule set I have prepared to do this. Look at the rule I have created. My expression indicates that I will match all URLs containing an add badge path element followed by two additional path elements. The first element is the badge and it is referenced as dollar sign one. The product is the last element referenced by dollar sign two. I have used those in the substitution definition. I will define a request to my template which is named badges and the product and badge will be substituted. Also note that I have also added a sharpening image preset so that my image and badge will look crisp. Once we have completed our rule set, uploaded it to Dynamic Media Classic, and configured it to be used, we can make a request like this. Here, I have requested that a 20% off badge be applied to a product called Shoe. And here, I have requested that a 40% off badge be applied to the same product. In this example, I have requested that a new badge be applied to a different product called Shoe 2. We've now seen how simple it is to create badges and apply them to our product images. Your developers will be able to use product data to determine how products should be badged and generate URL requests to generate product images with badges applied accordingly. Using this simple technique, we can dynamically modify a product page like this and transform it into a more compelling page like this.